Tell me in more detail how we go from platelets and, and thrombosis through aspirin. Well, as, as we develop techniques for isolating platelets, and so we could study them without having to deal with the blood or anticoagulants, etc., we then became interested in things that affected platelets and working with his smice and Metro Grislow at Sunnybrook, they had a metabolic unit and they were dealing with gout. And I thought, well, maybe you could study platelet turnover because these people tended to get increased vascular disease and therefore if there's vascular disease, platelets will be consumed. So I started doing platelet survival studies on their patients with gout. And what we found is that the patients in their gout arena who were getting this drug sulfonpyrazone had longer platelet survival than the patients with gout who were not getting it. So we said, well, sulfonpyrazone might have an effect on platelets. And um, we started to test it in our little laboratory unit. Yes, there is an effect on it. So we became quite interested in all these drugs. As a matter of fact, Siba Geige flew me to Ball in Switzerland about all this because they thought maybe they should start to do some work in this area because the drug was one that they had developed. And that was the first time I really had been treated sort of royally in this whole business. I was put on a first class Swiss air flight to get there, which was kind of, was kind of nice, good food and all that. And so as we worked up that field, we realized that there were drugs which would be put into the class of anti-inflammatory drugs. And so one of the ones that you immediately look for is aspirin. And so by this time, uh, Marion Packham, who's written that biography of me, had joined our group and she was been working on this and she was going to, or she did, was going to present all this work to a meeting in Ottawa. Mm -hmm. And I said, you better get on with testing aspirin because people ask you questions about aspirin. So she did aspirin and yes, aspirin worked. That's how we got to it.